Right, let's do a quick little unboxing. This is going to be a one video build. It's going to be uploaded on Christmas Day. So you're going to see this will be uploaded Christmas Eve. Then the build will be uploaded Christmas Day. So, right. Let's just put that thing away. Right, instructions. By far, the best motorbike kits, in my opinion, are Tamiya's. I've only ever built them. They go together so well and they just look so good. Instructions, as you can see, so easy to, to read and understand. They are absolutely perfect. But yes, we are building the Ninja ZX-12R. Right. Obviously, we don't need to open this one up. This has got the wheels in it. Oh, got the wheels in. And obviously, screws and springs. I couldn't find the an aftermarket fork set for this, which is a shame, but it is what it is, to be honest. Right, this is the clears. And as you can imagine, as for Tamiya, not a blemish. Absolutely phenomenal. Right. Obviously, there for the light and the indicators. So I'm going to do the body bits last. There's the engine, looks very nice. I was gonna say, always a pleasure to do a Tamiya. Okay, here's the chrome. This is exhausting a couple of bits now. I don't tend to, how can I put it? Like um, box chrome, but the chrome on that is unreal. So we're going to leave that. We're just going to try and discolour these bits. So let's move them aside. I always put everything on the right hand side out of uh, shot. So then when I'm building, I know where everything is. And there's some more engine bits. A lovely colour that. So we've got the forks, swing arm, yokes, some fair that might be the fuel tank, obviously clutch cover and that. So yeah, that is looking very nice. See, there's the wheels, seat and that, chain. Looks good. As I, can, as I say, you very rarely find some nasty bits of a Tamiya kit. Like I said, in my opinion, the best motorbike kits. But yeah, they are looking lovely. Right, now, this kit see-through plastics which I should bring into the shop now as you can see which I might have in see-through plastics so what I'm gonna do is obviously prime it all then we're gonna paint it so but as again all nice and cleanly on the sprue, very minimal clean up. And again, 
do all this which we are going to colour I just I just don't like how it, get, how it looks I think it looked better in the proper pearlescent which I will show you in a minute alright so we've got decals Those uh, chrome bits for I see mirrors and whatnot. Then there's our decals. Obviously, we don't use them all. We only use these ones here and the ninjas. I think that's it. But yeah, like I say, with a t for a Tamiya kit, you just literally cannot beat beat the quality of them. Value for money. I know kits are not cheap nowadays, but they're phenomenal, they are. And we're going to paint it in Zero Paints, Kawasaki, Candy Green. And I don't know if you can, you might be able to see the pearl in that. Looks absolutely phenomenal. So yes, that's what we're going to, obviously it's got to be mixed up. But yeah, that's what we're going to paint her in. So right. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And like I said, this is going to be a, a one video build for you to watch on Christmas Day. So thank you. Bye for right. now. Welcome to the new build. Obviously, if you're watching this, as you're watching this, it is Christmas, 25th of December, 2023. I hope you had a lovely Christmas. Um, I just thought I'd do a build just to upload for Christmas and to tie people over to the new year. So obviously, we can come back in 2024 bigger and better but yes we are building the ninja helps if i turn it out the right way doesn't it the tamiya ninja motorbike and we're painting it candy green obviously i'll bring that out that's what we're building so yes so let's get cracking this is going to be quite a bit of time lapse so I'm going to put a podcast on and that and we're going to literally get this built we're cutting in certain points like every three or four steps and yes hope you enjoy and stay tuned let's get this one built in one video Right, just going to do a bit of a cutting so the, the time lapse wasn't all that clever we've done a lot of brushing detail see so as you can see in the time lapse so obviously i've still got one more bit to do but as you can see obviously inside this bit here i've got to do flat aluminum or uh, aluminium obviously this one's all done as you can see, uh, the throttle bodies, 
which are looking nice. Which I use some um, the lacquer paints LP5, so I haven't got no uh, X8 ink. Obviously, we've done that one as well, which I think sure. Obviously, we've painted the nut bolts, uh, the silver for the bolts. Um, see, this one's got to have a green bit on the end there. Um, just got to do a couple of bits to them. There's the engine, as you can see, looking really good. Done a couple of bolts as well. So that, that will be ready to build up. Uh, that colour is XF28. That is. Obviously, we've got a uh, side case, clutch cover, and chain cover. But there you go. Looking good. And I gave it a couple of coats of Tamiya Clear. It dry a little bit flat. Obviously this one as well. She's looking really nice. Come out really nice. But yeah, obviously just get the frame. Got the bolts there as well. Silver bits and we've done the brake. Reservoir for the rear brake. But yeah, we'll come back once we've got everything once everything's dry and we will do a big glue session. So yeah, catch you in a bit. Right. Let's get some more building done. Obviously, sorry for the shaky cam, nothing changes there. But look at that, engine's looking good. So, done some studs and that. So, let's start building. Obviously, I've done a little, quite a bit, of, quite a bit of painting. Like offline, not off camera, offline, off uh, off camera, so that we can really get a due groove on. So right, let's get cracking. So, a shim. Yep, that goes inside there. Like so. so right. I'll do a couple of bits live because I don't want to keep bombarding you all with um, you have to excuse me, my brain is just not working today. Time lapses. But yeah, as we can see, looking good. Also we're just using the Loctite super glue. So move that. I thought that might have been just a little bit easier to to do some bits. All right, let's coil packs, which I've got over here. <coughs> Excuse me. I see, I've painted the coil packs. I'll show you once I'll show you some painting once I start laying down the the colour I think that'd be better but we've just got to make sure we've got this right so the coil packs point away from here so they need to go directional that way perfect So a little bit of a and let's get gluing. Perfect. 
perfeito. So if it's a mat. Perfect. Now let's just lift that camera up a little bit. Perfect. As you can see, cool packs are in. They're looking good. So now we've got a side case to put on, which is the clutch case. As you go, but on here, obviously you don't cut these pins off, but you cut these off. Literally tells you in the instructions to do it as well. Because obviously the pins locate and also you've got to make sure we have this in the right orientation because obviously we have to have a clutch what we've got hold on let's work this right let's just let's just have a look at that for a minute yeah clutch lever then we have a little like drain for an oil fill up let's go there so that's perfect Don't know what it is today. I've literally got the shakes. There we go. That's on. Didn't see none of that. Right, let's get rid of that. All right, obviously we've got the side case on. She's looking really nice. That colour's really nice. That's Tamiya uh, XF28 Dark Copper. That's what it calls for in the instructions, and it does look really nice. Right now, on top of here, we've got glue, a clutch lever, which goes from there. So the clutch lever goes on here, then into there. So let's just put that there a minute. Perfect. Now we just need to make sure It's literally all about placing things in the right place, and that's obviously where that goes. So I literally always do that, do a dry fit, especially if you're not too sure. Then when you go to fit it, you drop it a couple of times. get the 
the super glue on your fingers. But yeah, there we are. That's, that is a clutch lever. Right, now we've got a little... Don't think we have. Oh no, I did, I painted it on here, sorry. C6, because I knew I would be losing that. And same again. Just a little dub there. And there we go. Jobs are good. That looks really good. Right now we just got the this long one, which goes in there like so. So let's. There we go. Put you in where you're meant to go. And there you are. Alright. Obviously what I'm gonna do now is set you up on a time lapse and let's finish building this engine. Right, just doing a little bit of a cutting, as you can see. Engine's quite built up now. Probably the one of the best engine details I've done actually. I actually like it. Looking good. We'll see. The next step is to get it into the frame but obviously I've just got to do a bit of painting off off um, off camera paint the rest of the frame paint the red and some suspension parts and we do another bit of a build then obviously like I said painting I'll show you will be when we paint the bodywork but like you say looking good so right I'll come back once we've done a bit more paint right. Let's get some gluing done. Obviously I've been doing a bit off camera. Literally. Well, you just, I'm going to leave that in. I'm not going to edit that out, to be honest. But whatever you do, don't put glue there. Right, so I imagine you're going to let's have a quick look. I reckon. All right, let's get it going. It's quite a positive fit, this piece, anyway. 
actually. Always give it a little bit of a clean up. Perfect. Right. So now we've got to glue this piece. Excuse me, sorry about that. Right, this piece. Let's put some glue here. Get a stick. I hope everyone's enjoyed their Christmas or enjoying their Christmas. This one, these two have to go through there for that. Then, Ooh. Right. just got to literally hold that. here like so let's just push you back up which is perfect so yeah so they go through I see we just get that to, to hold where it needs to be so I think this is like an air, air vent no, not an air vent, an air duct, sorry. So, yeah. I mean, it's a bit of a tricky one to glue. It doesn't really want to go in. So, I'm going to leave the camera there while this is drying up. Right, let's get this rear piece in as well. We'll see, we just had to run a bit of Tamir Extra Fin across there. Give it a bit of strength, right. So now this bit goes in, which obviously locates onto here and obviously fixes onto here. And so on and so forth. I think that's looking relatively nice. Let's dub here, dub there, dub on there, and the dub on there. So then we can get that in, like so. All we've got to do is just now get hold this there, then we'll have a bit on there, a bit on there, a bit on there, because obviously we've got to locate these. So to do that, we need you to go. there like so so then get a bit of Tamir extra thin strip it off a little bit because obviously the majority of this might actually be hidden but obviously because Tamir extra thin will remove paint so but yes 
Right, we're gonna come back once I've got that glued. Right, sorry for the shaky cam, just trying to get some angles lined up right. But now, probably set this off, see how I hold it here to paint. Right, we are now going to mount the engine in. Keep the sofa shaky cam, I keep doing it. And obviously, if people are aware, Tamiya, um, like bike kits, come with screws. Literally, and obviously, I'm just they were just off camera. So it's saying we need the four mil, two four mil screws. So let's just move that all out of the way. And obviously, it comes with a screwdriver as well. So I need to cut a piece of tubing B, which would be this at. 18 mil long. So we need two six mil, no, yeah, two three six mil screws and a four mil screw. So obviously, just off camera, I'm just cutting the piece of tubing, which is. Eighteen mil long. So there's that. Now see this goes on to basically that's the brake reservoir, rear brake reservoir. So just do that. Like so, always just get a little cotton pad just to clean up any excess that's there, but no, that's on. So obviously we've got that setting up nicely. So now, let's, let's do this. Obviously I don't know if you've seen the engine. It's looking very nice indeed. Now obviously this would be where the drain plug goes, but obviously I've got the drain plug painted, but obviously it has a, it doesn't have a normal motorbike stand, it has a piece of plastic which we'll show later on as we're going through. So right, so we actually have to have it that way. So then, see this part goes on to the right hand side. So. Trying to okay. It's a bit of a tricky one, but we've got her in. I'm not sure. Where these go, but there you are. So we've just got some jiggy poking to do, but there it is sitting in there. So now I need a four mil screw, which I'll see. That's a four mil. There's the the six mil screws. Do I have a no? Right, perfect. 
So we just need to tip it back up again because we need to look. Right, so we have a six mil in here. Not in there, but in there, okay. So, I thought we'd do this bit live because I've said I don't wanna throw a lot of time lapse in, you know? So we just need to push that where it needs to go. And you soon know whether it's in the right place because the screw will start screwing in. And obviously that is not. So two seconds. It's important that we get the engine in the actual right place. Perfect, see? Just pays just to have a little bit of a look so we know. I'm not going to do it tight, tight. Because obviously we've still got to get So this one on the opposite side is the six mil. Yep. So just take your time. Then we have this is the four mil. Funny. That is definitely not fitting. I believe that's the four mil. Okay, now we stick that there, and it screws in. So perfect. All right. Now. We can do all these up because obviously we've got the engine where it needs to be. Perfect. And that is looking really nice. I'm not sure if we have to glue these bits here. See, excuse me. We'll leave them. All right, so now. The last part for this stage is the radiator, which has been painted with Mr. Hobby's stainless. Then it's been um, Tamiya cleared afterwards, just to, because I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but Mr. Hobby's like, clear comes off in your hands and it's quite annoying. Right. So obviously this locates, let's have a look. Right, let's get the tweezers because I'm just going to show you. Obviously one on there, one on there. But obviously this is obviously top hose, this is bottom hose, yes? So we need to obviously slide that in like so and jiggy poke them where they need to be which is not the end of the world so that one goes there so then if we can just move this gentleman 
to where he needs to go. And that is where that needs to go. So yes, right. So what we're gonna do is for this, the radiator, we're gonna use super glue for the radiator pipes. Then that way, we haven't got four points we're trying to line up and fight to get into place. So then the top of the radiator, we'll do with Tamir Extra Fin. Right, so now, let's just bring you to there, perfect. Then just bring you to where you need to go. Make sure that we have everything in place which we do then just get a bit of tamir extra thin and all we're gonna do is wipe a little bit of the excess off just dump there there a little dump there and there you go right i'll come back once that's dried all right just bring you back for just to show you there we go, engine is in. With this, because it obviously kept moving, so all I'd done was got a cotton bud and just put it in between there just to give it some support. But yeah, engine is in. Looking very good. So now we just got to sit that there, there, as you can see. Then we've got to start doing some painting some yeah so we've got the sprockets and that so i'll bring it back once we can start with all that all right i've got some painting bits done i've done a massive amount of painting so we're literally going to build the chain and the rear wheel we'll not build the chain but obviously put the chain on build the rear wheel then obviously we will set up a time lapse for some other bits um yeah so let's get cracking right let's see have this location bit there so put it up there perfect Oops, sorry for the shaky cam the chain and sprocket married together obviously we've got direction on the wheel here so we need this direction to be and there we go oh it's just got itchy nose Obviously with the uh, disc, I've drilled the holes through because it looked to me a real disc actually has the holes drilled. Obviously we've got location pins on, on this as well. So we just drop that in like so. And that's that. I think we'll keep rolling. Right, so now. Uh, let's build. So I'm just waiting for one bit of paint to dry. So let's build the. Excuse me. The rear swing arm. We'll see once again. We've got a location pin. Sorry, we've got a location pin there. Which will go into there like so. And 
gonna say that sits like so. Also, I'm always wondering if I'm actually taking the chrome, but I don't think I am. Right, so then we need the brake caliper. So we've got a little beast to put in now. So we'll stick that bit in now. Which, this is obviously your Like so. So now we've obviously got the locations. So right, let's get this. Like so. And we'll bring this over. We just hold it there for a couple of seconds. Like so. And this one connects mm, we've got to work that one out so we're just gonna let that dry and we we'll come back once that's dry because we've got to try and work out where this locates because It's physically Oh there it is. Cool. Alright, so on that one we're gonna dub a bit of Tamiya extra fin on that. Cause it is a nice positive fit that. So it's just got to be careful where we put it. Right, yeah, see none of that. But right, yes. So the caliper's on. So we're just going to let them dry up, and I come back. Once we're ready to start putting it all together, the man in it in the bike. All right, let's get this all done in. Well, not done in, but all right. Obviously, we've got the caliper in. So now we've got to manipulate this and so. Put it into there, spin round. You don't, this bit does not get glued at all. So, perfect. So now, the caliper's obviously onto that side. Then we bring that through. So now, we 
perfect. Looking that, looking good. So right. Now I'm gonna mount this. into my body and I need another 1.625 mil screw so now pull the bat Getting things. Excuse me. Just correct ourselves. That's better. She might actually go in now. Easier said than done. Problem is, okay, bring you into there. For a minute, just need to line that in. Now, which way does the screw go through? It's not going to be that way, is it? It's going to be that way. Some jiggy poking, which all right, let's get this sorted now. See, under here, we've got to get the lock in, which you can't see. 
We literally need to move that. Into there. She's in. Perfect. All right, we're just going to put a bit of Tamiya. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to have to put a bit of Tamiya in that, I think. Sorry about that. part that obviously goes into the bottom there which holds us up so yeah yeah looking good if I do say so myself right we've just got to find the two D2s Final Titan. Perfect. Yes. Right then, obviously, what we have. Gets the shake when you're doing certain little bits. Perfect. Yeah. Let's bring you in for a closer look. Looking very nice if I do say so myself. Very happy with that. All right. I think we keep keep rolling, I think. There's a couple more bits we can do. Excuse me. Right. So all we need to do is work out which... Sorry for the cam. Again. Safe to say that don't fit there. I bet everyone's shouting at the screen. They don't fit there either. And there we go. And this one. extra thin
perfect. Alright. We'll come back once we've set up for the next bit. Alright. Got some more bits to do. While we're here. Trying to work out, okay. Right, chain guard. screws okay and where does that go and it goes that way okay that one a minute. I've never had little like bits of it to screw on before. see much for the minute because Right, so we've got the peg on and the side stand, which is looking cool. Um, all right, that's everything for the moment because I've got to see paint the forks. Do some body painting. Get some more light on the Kawasaki can go and edit forever. But yeah, it's all mixed up. Right, so I need to do the uh, the body panels now because I need to put the front forks together. Literally, so for me to do that, I might as well paint all the body panels in one go. It's a lovely colour. So yes, that's why. See, it seems like it's jumping and jumped around a bit. Just bear with it. So I sit to the left. We've got all the body colours. So we'll get all that knocked out. I'll put you on a time match for a bit of painting and I'll bring you back once we're done. Right, 
just doing a quick cut in because this is solvent paint, it's light coats. Just build your light coats up, like six, seven coats, and obviously you'll start coming together. You don't want to throw it on too much because you get reactions and whatnot. Obviously, here I've not painted this bottom part because this bottom part's got to be black. So obviously we're just letting the other spray go onto it. So not really phased about that at all. But right, and obviously the same as these pieces here are, uh, I think they're grey. Yeah, I think they have to go like a gunmetal, so that's not a problem either. So right, I shall come back, I'll seat you back up on time. I just wanted to cut in so everyone knew what was going on, just in case you thought, oh, he's not painting the bottom parts. But right, I'll seat you back on time. Then I'll do one more line and I'll sit up on a time lapse. the previous clip we had a bit of a time lapse going so there's the clear coat it's all done it does look very nice if I do say so myself I said this one as well I'll show you a bit with some decals on As you can see, it's looking good. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll show you one of the side panels as well. So, oh, as you can see, very nice finish out the out the brush. Um, I think there's really everything to show you. Here you go. Bit light. If you, thing is, if you're gonna do a Kawasaki bike, you know it's gonna have to be Kawasaki green. You just know. Right. So now, I've done quite a bit of painting as well off camera. So we're gonna literally now start to build things up now. So, right, I'm going to do a couple of bits live, then we will put some bits together. Right, let's bring the motorbike back in, as you can see, it's looking nice. Right, we're actually on to the uh, beginning of the handlebars now. Let's see. 
got these painted up there, yeah, looking good. So now, we need to find That's a 20 mil screw. See, this is the fun bit. Finding what screws are to go where. And we've got one. For a uh, model kit, this does actually have quite a few bits going, so right. So, obviously, there's the forks, and now we need to add a little bit of glue onto there. Another bit onto there. Like so. to get this you cannot see none of that thing is I've repositioned my camera perfect so we've got them two in which I think they go to something I'm not sure Right, so now we're going to start building up the tops of the handlebars. So, so bring this in for a closer look. As you can see, detail is looking nice. Let's sort of the shaky cam. I'm going to Put it back to where it normally goes. Right, so this goes into there, I'll take it. Yes. Okay. So we just need a tiny little bit of glue. Like so. And that's that one. Then again, and that one is done, as you can see. So let's double make sure that we are where we need to be. Just double checking because of C. Perfect. There we go. Now, these go up into there. Little dot of glue there. I have actually got another glue to try out as well. Let's see, slide. Mm -hmm. Lemon, like so. Then we get the screw. Just trying to find just trying to get things just to stick in. Perfect. So then we just tighten you back up like so. 
and there we go. Can I see that? Pivots. So that's that. Obviously we've already glued these two bits in. Obviously we've glued, uh, screwed this on, screwed this on, screwed this on, put a decal there. Obviously we've got the two tubes on there. D1, which we've got a little uh, silver piece to put in. Which would be this piece here. <laughs> but we'll put that in once I've got all the forks all built. So now, we've got to do some more piping. So I need another 26, uh, sorry, a 26 mil, which is obviously just off camera. So if you bear with me for a second. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Then we need two sixty threes. Which is there. Which is there. Then I need an eighty. This is quite a long one, this one, the 80 mil. Perfect. Right. So we bring this back into here. So the 26 goes from there to under there so let's get that glued stick a bit of glue on there can have the jab glue these tweezers So, like so, just clear it, excess glue up. So, that's that one in. All right, now the two sixty threes go off of here and down to there so let's go do -ba -do. double glue there I mean I've only ever built as I always say Tammy and motorbike kits piping and the detail on this one this is quite an old kit literally and it's phenomenal really just let them set up for a minute and then we do the the 80 mil which goes for, this is the clutch lever way too much glue It's literally all getting all the rooting right as well. Like so. That, my friends, is perfect. So, well, we have to bring this one which goes down through 
through. We we'll take it over. It goes under the pipe. Which is perfect. So we just dog a little bit of glue on there. Perfect that one, so that goes there, looking good. Oh, excuse me. Alright, so let's thread the bottom one. Through, like so. And the same with this one. Tends to be in a bit of a tricky. Like so. Just off the camera, sorry about that. That was proper tricky. So, I need to straighten one of these up. Like so. Then get this one, which will go. Trying to see, now it goes over the top, perfect. So I like to see that one, then that one, perfect. And as you see, job is good. So we just let them sit there for the minute, right. Just obviously gonna do a setup at a time. Oh no, pause for a minute and bring some bits back. Right. Check the grain out. Looks very good. So now we've got to do some painting. Obviously this here. Is this mirror stuff? Which obviously I assume it has to be cut out. Yep. It's quite a good idea though. So you do Not fucking easy. But looks looks good. I don't know if you have to cut these out or they're already pre-cut, I don't know. Right. 
<clears throat> and the same again. Let's go around like so. Didn't get that. Didn't get that. Be a lot easier if there wasn't any perfect. Excuse me. Obviously, I'm going to drill these holes out. Um, what else we've got to do? We can put the tire on to the wheel. And I think what I do is to drill. I'll set up a time lapse of me painting and building the front folks. Thought we'd do a little cutting, as you can see. Cut with this all drilled. I didn't do that on time lapse because it is a bit of a a big of a job, but yes. And obviously, it just gave the back just a, a little touch. But obviously, as you can see, they look good. It's just a matter of just chinking, uh, not chinking around, but you know, somewhat going through what needs to be done. I mean, see these here have to be painted green. To give it the, because like the brake caliper, like connections and bleeds are like a funny color, so. I'm gonna get all detail right. We need it looking spotless. Like so. Obviously, being a double clad, double disc, it will have two of them on there. So, we just need to, same again. As I'm Excuse me, as I'm recording this section of the video, it is the 15th of December. And I want this video up for Christmas Day. So we are cutting it fine. We are literally cutting it fine. We will get there. <clears throat> Plus, obviously, we've all been ill in the ass with this flu that's going around.
to the right. I just got to literally let that just set up for a little bit. So we'll come back once we're ready to start building something, or I'll have a look to see what else we can build. Right, I found a couple of bits we can do. There's not many bits we can do, but I found something. Right. And we need a D8 and D7. D8. Which is that side. D7. Oh, I'm really sorry for that. Alright. So, perfect. Just got to dob a little bit of super glue into there. Yep, I think you can see that on camera. Don't just take that with you. Perfect. All right, so now let's check this lens, which goes in there. Just like, do you take a chance and use like super glue? I mean, sometimes I do, but that I just can't bring myself to do it. So. So this is really rubbish camera angles. I'm literally trying perfect. I'm just gonna literally let that set up. So let's move that to one side also. Got it. Perfect. Just wasn't located properly, but she's in there now, boys. And girls. Very happy. So, right. And that's obviously the glue that I use for my clear parts. Michael Crystal Clear. The Micro Crystal Clear. I'm just having a bit of fun at the moment because the instructions keep wanting to fall down. Right. Next bit we've got is this. Now, bear with me two seconds. And like I said, I've literally got bits everywhere. Literally. So this goes in like. Like so. Uh, exit, I've got to paint the bottom bit silver. Yeah. But you're not actually going to see that, are we? Uh, we might do. 
I know we will. We will do. Okay. So one shouldn't have took that off. The glue stick. Right, X F sixteen. Is it the whole bottom? It's just trying to get That does look cool. Right, so we just got literally that, that dry now. So, so we're just trying to do find bits and bobs that we can do so we're keeping like productivity. Just cleaning the brush in some thinners. Right, let's have a look. Bring the bike back. Have a look. Right. So we'll see this to go there. Okay. So let's get that on. We put that on. Yep. Happy with that. All right. Looking good. We're slowly getting there. So now. Screws on to there. So we need two little screws. Like so. We'll see, we've got to do the FC, the back as well, but we've got all that to do from this side. So then we've got this here, XF1, which should be flat black.
got to do a bit of painting on these, but I'm going to do that on the bike. Because it'd be easier. It literally will be easier. And the same with this as well. I don't know if that that might not be easier actually that one. So we're gonna this has got to have a matte black on there, so right. I'm gonna paint them and I come back. Right, let's just move that to one side. We'll see we've done the painted the little valves as well. Right, now we've got this bit here. Obviously gotta get this bit into there, which is there. Right. With this one I'm gonna do a bit of I think Tammy extra thin would be better for it. Just because I haven't got much there to to put glue to go on to not to put super glue on. So I think a nice little bit of Tammy are extra thin. Perfect. And just let that set up. Right. So if we put that to one side for the moment, just so that can set up, then we can bring this one back. Right, we had to do some painting as well, didn't we, for the pegs, which, there we are, so, I see these go in a set way. So, obviously we painted these bits as well according to the instructions, so that is that all done, which is a wicked. Uh, obviously we've got the clocks on, yep, that's all on, okay. So we're going to spin around, put it on the side again. We've got, looking, obviously we've got a couple of bits to put on. We've got this one here for obviously to take rear passengers. Well, this is for the rear passenger, so we need four screws. Um, and there's another bit as well that we've painted. Which I've got to find. It's quite an important part, no? Right, give me two seconds and I will find it. I thought we would have actually done that, this piece as well. Right. I see, let's do this live. I don't want to keep throwing time lapses up because obviously I don't, not everyone enjoys a time lapse. Right, so I need two at 20. Two at twenty-six. Which I don't think we do need two at twenty-six because this one here is already at twenty-six. <coughs> Excuse me. So I need another twenty-six. So 
this. Oh, okay, no, we do need to, I think. Yeah, my bad. The actual one that comes from here and goes around, and obviously one to there. No problems, my bad. So, as I was saying, we've got obviously a bit for here. So, we just do that. And we do that. So it's just off camera. Sorry about that. Perfect. Look at that. Right. That's where that needs to be. Then we need another one for in here. So just get a little bit of that. Just to wipe that off there. All right, it's in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go for it. It's this one. All right. This is going to have to be done in some form of order, I reckon. So, right. so let's just put some super glue on here. This and there. Just move that to there for a second. The one that comes down from here goes on there, like so. Then this one. Technically go on now. So just bear with me for one second. Oh, got it on. now oh, okay so this goes into there perfect All right so we do that first which then locates into there we just literally let that sit there for a second <coughs> excuse me So now we glue that, not glue it, sorry, 
do the screws up. It's a really nice kit this. This is only the second motorbike kit I've ever built. But it is looking very nice indeed. Right, so now we've got this one. goes so if you keep turning it and turning it it's just yep yep perfect So that's that. Now we'll get the other pick. Whoa, 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 whoa. I put that in wrong. Put that the wrong way. Right, so that's the rear brakes all connected. Perfect. Right, we're going to have to go back a step. Because we haven't finished doing. Right, just grabbed them all. Right, we've got build up uh, front forks. So I've see, done a bit off camera, uh, not off camera, sorry. We've done a bit pre in a previous clip, but obviously it's been jumping around because I'm trying to do bits as we're going along. So it's not holding up the video, if you get me. I'm trying not to waste time. So I've had someone was at the door, right. So I see the we've got little location bungs and I see these slide into here. So you have to make sure and I see you've got a bit there which is there. So let's do this. That bit onto there. Now we go one or two ways. Perfect. It's just literally. What I've actually done, just so I see. I cleaned up these bits here because obviously we had a bit of paint and 2k on it because obviously you're not going to see it so let's let's do this other side as well while we're here so same again spodge on that one and spodge on that one Let's spin it round and make sure once again making sure that we've got it located perfectly which we have so we just sit you there for a minute, leave you in shot. Right, obviously, we've got to do the discs, and these obviously have a location bung there 
and obviously it's there as well. So push that fully in, which it is. And the same again. Perfect. All right, so that's that all glued up. Now, obviously, it's not asked us to cut any pipe because also I believe we've got the pipes over there, but obviously, you can't see that because that's slightly off camera. So, now, right, just so obviously, the screw goes through this end because that end's slightly funny shaped, so that's where it would screw into. So, we just push you up to there feed you through keep going keep going just get the screw lovely jubbly now I don't want to tight tight oh it's looking nice a little bit more though just so that's better and as you can see, that is looking very nice. So now, we're going to literally rest that just over there for a second. Literally. I'm going to bring this back in. All right, we've got to put the headlights in before we put the forks on. So obviously we've got two bungs and two location pin there. So bit of push on there. Slide that into there like so. As you can see, looking good. Just cleaning the end of the super glue tube. Perfect. Alright. So obviously we've put this in earlier, and obviously we've done them side steps. I mean, obviously that's just off camera. So now, we've got a couple of little bits to do. All right, we've got this piece now to put in. So this, again, goes in on the screws. You don't glue it. Literally, it is an unbelievable kit. So that's an, an eight mil screw. Which just measuring the screw off camera. Found it. So I'm saying it is a really, it's a wicked kit, literally. So now this goes through. go to town with them though, like proper hosing them down, so to speak. Right, bring that in for a closer look. So now, see we're at the back here. We've put all the sides on, so I need to get a B10 G2. B10 like so and it's 
is B10. Yep. Now I need to get G2. I've got to find it. Two seconds. Right. I'm sorry about that. I was having quite a bit of a um, a bit of a moment then. So I couldn't find this tiny little piece. Right, let's get cracking. Now panic's over. See why so they've given they give you two pieces. This one or that one. Which I cannot fathom why. No. Why would you not use that, you know? You know, I'm not being funny, but it goes in. goes in there. Oh no it don't. <laughs> oh wow, okay. That goes in there though. Then obviously that. Slides. Over, okay. Alright. Now, if we've got to cut this bit of chrome out. Perfect. To run the blade just up that edge again. You just need to go. Don't know why we just couldn't use like the headlights. It's weird to me. Alright. Now, people are probably going to be shouting at the screen for this. Understand. But I don't think the glue that I use would hold that properly. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, just literally let that set up for the minute. So this is the rear light going in. So we've got the tank in, yep. Oh, exhaust next. But it's come together really nice though. Got the little dub there. It's not even, you must think I'm putting bare loads of glue on, but it's a struggle to get that. Perfect. Let's just lift that up to show you. Look at that. This is coming up really nice, this bike. All right, we will have to go 
back in a minute and fit the front forks. So, front forks, it doesn't actually show you how to fit, fit them in. Oh, they just slide up. Then these two here go onto the calipers. So, okay. Uh, do we have to glue these then? Just check in. Uh, just put a little bit of dog on there. A little bit on there. Right then, get that up there. Perfect. And then just literally let that sit there. Then we'll connect the things. So now, let's get the brake lines on. So obviously we just dub a little bit of glue in here. Like so. My favourite tweezers. Right, first things first, we need to reposition that there. Bring Basically what we've got to do, I don't know if you see that, we've got to push these through, really. Where are you? Who are you? Come on. Nope. I'm not doing it, is it? Same again. Perfect. As you can see, we've got the front brake lines on. And obviously, It's a nice steering, but that green is looking good. Right, so that's that one. Right, so we just move that to one side so we can get all that to dry up. Then we've got the exhaust. All right. So let's see how this goes. Anything literally put the chrome surely modeling people like people that design the kit surely they'll be able to find a better way to man in the chrome because when you cut it off it leave marks. I don't know, so what do we know? Right, obviously we've still got a little bit to go onto the front forks, which as I said I will put that on in a minute. Right. Just gotta read look at this properly. Right, so these have to be cut off. Jobs are good, and obviously on that as well. Just take them off there as well. I 
as you don't take them off, we're not going to really have it um, sitting nice, are we? Okay. I mean, Tammy's literally got it so that the things are on the bottom, so that's quite cool. That is. Okay. So now we need the business end. need to see so that needs to direct itself down let's see if you've got something there so you're telling me that that always do just a little test fit Try and do this once more. We've got a location mung in there, and I'll see the same one there. So that we didn't know where that goes. So. Trying to see what size the exhaust is on. So the exhaust is on that side. Okay. Alright. That goes there. Perfect. Right. We're just going to do this bit off camera. Alright. I'm going to just put a little bit of exhaust burn on so we've got some it's just to Just to give it just a little tone. I don't know how to do it properly. It just gives it just a little bit of character. Right. So now, so you've got that location bung on there. Obviously you have it on there as well. Which is a good one. Let's get that in there. Just gonna literally just hold it just so it sets up. And then we'll tip the bike upside down. Easy. In real life, that'd be easy if you could work on a bike like that. Right. Just take that stern down. I thought it was going to be a bit of a pig then to get that in. So just put some glue on there. it up onto there like so and we just need a little screw and 
than that now. I'll have a bit exhausting. Let's put this stand back on. I actually quite like this bit. Job's a good one. All right. Just gonna literally let that set up for a minute. We'll come back. And it's just fairings to put on there. Fairings and mirrors and indicators. So we'll come back once this is set up a bit. It's been a few hours since the last clip. So I've just done some uh, dig hell on the window, like the visor screen, which obviously we're gonna leave over there for the moment. Right. Now, all of these panels will either screw in or they just clip in. It says no glue, which I don't mind that to be honest. I've just got to do one more little bit of paint, but that's not a problem. I can paint them. I should probably paint them now actually when I'm building all this one. Two seconds. Well, I've just painted them so they should be dry by the time we get to them. <coughs> so, right. Let's start this. Right, none of this rear panel is actually glued. Literally. So. It has location pins. Nice fitment on the rear light as well. Right. Let's stick this on. I'm going to stick this panel on first. Then, what I will do. Just make sure that everything's in where it needs to be. Looking very nice. Now, we'll see. This bit needs a bit of glue. So, what we're going to do a little bit. We just lift that up. And that was not easy. now we get that perfect Just make sure the little stand is not gonna fall side panels now well this side panel anyway so this will it's just niche trying to work out Move that to there a minute.
both 2.5s. So that's that. So now we need to turn it round. And what we're going to do just so we don't damage the fairing. And two more screws. Like so. We just need to just move it that way for me a minute. Still in shot. That's that one. It's not fully done up, but so we've just got to make sure that we are okay. All right, so. I'll see where I'm steaming ahead. There's a location bowl now. So let's take that screw out, move you over. Which is easier said than done. to locate that. I should pop that off a minute. Right behind the wheel here we've got Just loosen everything. This is what I always do. Just loosen things up. Just see where we're going wrong. Alright. Bring her back down. It's just about making sure that everything is lining up. And just now it goes to show don't force anything. Literally, if it's not lining up, just loosen a couple of screws and retighten. See that? So we need to do that again. Because what we need to do, there we go. It's like your brain's not fully working. But, alright. Let's have a look. Looking very nice, if I do say so myself. Very happy with how all that's coming out. 
So we've got everything where we need it now. So, just stick that back under there for the moment. Right. Smooth, well, plain sailing at the moment, aren't we? So the rear's on, yep. Obviously we've done zero paint textured finish. And it's the same with this. Everything just literally clips in. I've never known anything like it. Literally. It's unbelievable. Right, see, I like this. Obviously, I can't have that. Right, first things first, I done a mistake. I cut a location bung off there. So, we're going to literally just. Don't really want to, but. I think we're really going to have to. Perfect. Right, I'm just gonna hold that then I'll be back. Right, we've got that in. So now it's still saying no glue. Okay. I just don't like the idea of no glue. You know what I mean? Right, obviously. This is obviously my model, so obviously if you follow the instructions, you know, it says don't glue them, but I'm making the executive decision that I really want it. Glued. Then we've got this panel here, see, and this again, saying not to glue. Which I get. There you are. Right, we've got it. No doubt it'll probably ping back up, and if it does ping back up, we'll end up gluing it. Alright, so we've got the side in. So we've got to put the, the nose, excuse me, the nose cone. Is this gluing? No. How is that not being glued? Wow. That's unbelievable. Really so I wasn't in camera shot there, my bad. Right, all I'm doing is just Just let that sit for a minute. Everything is literally like a positive fit, which, which is good. Well, we have to glue the indicators on, on the mirrors, so that's okay. But right, while we're waiting for that nose, goes to 
set up. So see, we're just literally waiting for that to just dry. And let's put some mirrors together. What do you reckon? B1. And I'll see these are we have little mirrors. Which is quite cool. Just trying to get them to see which way they go. <laughs> it's an enjoyable kit to build though. It really is. I'm assuming that they... No matter how many times I've turned that, that ain't fitting in there. Right, let's sort this out properly, come on. Perfect. So that goes like so. I'm gonna use a bit of Tamir extra thin on these mirrors. And that one fits in really nice and positive. It does. Make sure that that is where that needs to be. Otherwise, we will have a bad time. All right. See, so we've got mirrors and whatnot. So, uh, so this nose cone should be dry enough now, so we can literally put that on. No, it's just off the camera and I'm really sorry. Just having a bit of a nightmare with the decal. It's just lifted up there. So this, no glue to the upper cow, and obviously it's got location pins. Unbelievable this kit. Really is. Obviously, that looks a completely different colour on camera, but actually in real, it looks it doesn't look that different to be honest. Not sure what's happened there. I think matches might be just how it's laid down. Uh, so 
these mirrors go somewhere. Sure, you would go like so. Always hate putting mirrors on the bike, I think it ruins them. But yeah, it does look a bit of a colour difference, doesn't it? It's weird because from there to there it matches. But this is just weird. I think it's just how it is. It is what it is. Right, 35, 36. So 36 are the fronts, 35 are the back. It's a lovely looking bike. If I wanted to, I could potentially repaint the front, but I'm alright to be honest with it. So I see where the because it's perless and it's now it's laid. Just have to be like more careful where you're laying the paint down. Make sure it was in the same direction. Obviously we just do, which this ain't the easiest part, which you ain't going to be able to really see anything, to be honest. Come back once I've got the mirrors and indicators on for a final reveal. Right, I'm calling this one done. There definitely is a colour difference between that side panel and them. It's just got to be how it laid down, but I think the mirrors ruin it. They look terrible, them mirrors. Make looks make like a little mass at the front, but I see indicators are on. The green is lovely. Literally, yeah. Should I re should I upload it? Yeah, I mean, it looks nice. It's just that colour variation on them panels, on the side panels. It's probably the way that the paint's been laid down. So the easiest way to correct that would be to paint, repaint this nose comb because obviously there's no graphics on it so but to be honest i'm happy with it as you can see it lets it down but you know ayo what we're we gonna do obviously i've never put number plates on my bikes if this was a customer's project then yeah i wouldn't i would not send that out but to me, it's for me own, it's going in my own thing. You're only going to really look at it front on, and it looks all right. F under the camera, it looks worse than it actually does in, like, uh, through eye. Um, if I... I mean, you can't really notice it. 
but obviously through the camera it does make it notice even more but yeah I'm happy with it to be honest could have done it better yeah is there a couple of mistakes yeah but that's modeling isn't it at the end of the day you know I've enjoyed doing the video and obviously it's a Christmas upload video if you just want to watch it it's gonna be a long one you know but I say I can't help the colour variation there. I mean, all of this matches beautifully. It's just that one panel. See, there and there, they look identical. They do, so the actual colour variation is literally there, the front, because all this matches. Yeah, see, on the camera, this matches. But through eye, this is completely different. This here shouldn't match that colour. But no, I'm happy with it. Alright, if you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe. This is the last video for the year. Um, obviously, as, as you're watching this now, it is Christmas 2023. I hope you have a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. And I will see you in the new year. Um, don't know what should we build first. Put in the comments down below what you want me to build first. You know, car, bike, a lorry, tank. Let me know in the comments below. But have a lovely Christmas and a lovely new year. And I will see you in 2024.